There's a way to build a perfect wardrobe of eyeshadows. You just have to know which colors to add to your palette. And here to help us put this eyeshadow palette together is makeup artist Terry Tomlinson. Hi, Terry. How hey, are you? Very good. Okay, so you've been giving me quite the eyeshadow education, which, yes. I mean, I love makeup, and so I always thought I knew what I was looking for when I went to the eyeshadow counter, but apparently... <laughs> I am not as specific as eyeshadow shopping as you would like me to be. And you were telling me right. there are three categories of eyeshadow. Right. I think if every time you approach a cosmetic counter and you look at an eyeshadow, because it's easy for us to buy tons and tons of color, you should categorize every color into one of three places. It's either lighter than you are, darker than So lighter than, than my skin color. Yes. Okay. Or severely darker than you are. Okay. Or it's kind of in the same range as you. Now you've brought us some examples. So let's right. just point, without looking at the colors, let's just point out what those would be. Like these would be darker than Definitely. I am, these three. Right. This, these two would be lighter. Probably and then like, in here. And then the ones that are similar to you in skin tone are going to be right in here. Kind of some of these neutrals. Here. Okay. Now you were explaining to me what these, each one of these three categories do. Right. And why it's important to have those in my eyeshadow collection. Yes. Anything that's lighter than you will highlight and it will give you pop. Anything that's darker. So highlight, can I ask a question real yes. quick? So highlight meaning it goes kind of underneath that brow bone, it goes in the corner. Wherever you want that blast of light. Lightness. Okay, perfect. Um, anything that's very dark is going to be your smoke and your drama. And that's going to go more in my crease, right? Not necessarily. Okay. I would say more along the lash line, more to smoke up an outer corner. Okay. Um, or if you're going to deepen something that's already there. Okay. Um, you also want these to be wet dry products so that you can wet them and do liners with them. So when I go to the counter, I should ask them, is this something that I can get wet with maybe one of these really skinny brushes yes. and use as a liner as well as using dry right. with a bigger brush? Because then okay. you're getting more bang for your buck. Okay. Now, and I, this was another question I asked you about spending money on cosmetics. And is it important to spend more money on eyeshadows? Because I can go to Walgreens and see the 99 cent colors and greens and blues and those trendy colors that maybe I don't want to invest in. Right. But you're saying it's important to invest in them, why? Well, you want color payoff. If you have to put six layers of product on to get it to show beige, you're wasting your time. And your money. Right, <laughs> so you should be able to get color the first time you apply a shadow. Okay. You should be able to see it. Okay, like this brown you just put on your finger. Yes. And like this blue. Like Which is I pretty can intense. see that that's blue, right. clearly. And I have a tissue. Um, and I've noticed this in like I wear MAC makeup. Mm -hmm. Their color palette and their eyeshadows, it's really, it's fantastic. Right. Like I can look at it and put it on and immediately go, okay, that's the green color I bought. Right, there's a lot of pigment there. Okay. So let's talk about the mid ranges because I think those are the most important and they're kind of like the blue jean of your They're like the bread wardrobe. and butter of our eyeshadow collection. Yes. <laughs> okay. Because these are what you use for contouring and shaping blending if you need to blend something down that's too dark. And those would be more of these colors throughout yes. here, correct? And those are the colors that I'm probably going to reach for more in like when I go to work and like right. the nine to five, like because most girls aren't going to do a smoky eyeshadow with contouring and highlighting <laughs> unless you're on morning television yes. when you go to the workplace. It's just probably not the most appropriate True. choice. Although we do live in Texas, so um, some people things have do smoke every day. Now let's move just to the trend colors real quick. These are fun colors. Once again, even when we're buying the trendy colors, we still want to keep those in the categories of lighter, darker, and middle, right? It helps you know where to put it. Um, but I think that, you know, you can go buy palettes that have all these bright shades in them right now, but you might not use them all. Right. So if you have a good basic wardrobe, then come spring or summer, if you want to go get a green or like, I love this melon color on everybody right now, Right. then go get just that shadow Okay. and kind of bring it into your basic wardrobe. And that way you're not spending a lot of money on colors you're not going to not use. Not going to wear. You just bring them in seasonally and then you can put them aside. Well, thank you for our eyeshadow education you're today. Welcome. I love it. You can get these tips and more great ideas by checking out Terry's website. Um, we've got a link on our site and our site is dthebroadcast.tv.